Good evening. Clyde's off tonight. Some local reservists are on their way to Somalia. After spending Christmas at home, members of the 320th Postal Unit in Roselawn will be in Somalia for the new year. Suzanne Gatto was at the airport with the families as they said goodbye. It was a sad ending to an otherwise very happy Christmas week for the Fatora family. Today at the airport, they're saying goodbye to their father for who knows how long. Sergeant Jerry Fatora and five others from the 320th Postal Unit in Roselawn have volunteered for a mission in Somalia. Why would you volunteer for something like this? Well, it's just a duty to country. You know, people, uh, people see it and they don't want to go, but they want somebody to go. And uh, we're, the, we're the people that go. We train for this. Military duty is nothing new to Sergeant Fatora. He served in Operation Desert Storm. This mission, though, will first include a training session in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Then it's off to Somalia, where he and the other volunteers will begin setting up a makeshift post office. There'll be no machinery. We'll build everything from the beginning, from ground up, you know, as far as the tents and, and docks, if we need docks. You know, we don't know how we're going to receive all this stuff. We don't know how much is sitting there waiting for us now. So, er and everything is done by hand. You know, if, if we do letters, everything will be done simply by hand, and it's very... Uh, tiring. You, you'll be working as long as you're awake is what it'll be. But hard work doesn't bother these reservists. The hardest part is being away from loved ones. But it helps when even the youngest family members understand why they have to go. Because he's going to help the starving kids get their food. And knowing that perhaps makes saying goodbye that much easier. Because as Lieutenant Lee Perkins says, that's what this mission is all about. Helping people in need. I think uh, America is, is rich in a lot of ways. Uh, we have a government, they don't have a government. Uh, we have a lot of food, they don't have any. And, you know, it just kind of hurts me to see people that are struggling the way they are. And, you know, I'm just glad to even have the opportunity to go. The volunteers who left for North Carolina today expressed very little concern over what they might encounter in Somalia. Instead, their biggest concern was just getting home. No one knows for sure how long it will take to restore hope to the starving African nation. No one knows how long it'll be before they fly back into this airport to be reunited with their families. Suzanne Gatto, Channel 9 News. Some promising developments in Somalia today, along with other signs that peace will take... It's winter. Time.